But then guys, check out my new bike. This is awesome. Now I am going to go for a ride on it. Let's do this. No, wait, wait, wait. What the hell is that noise? What the hell is that noise? What, what, what the hell is going Why are you in my ears, music? That is so weird. What, what the hell? No, 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 I'm done. I'm done. everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase where today I'm going to be taking a look at the Pokemon Bicycles mod which adds in two awesome new bikes based on the Pokemon games into your Minecraft world. So you can zip around on these for speedy travelling or even perform tricks as you go forth on your amazing journey. So without further ado, let's get started with this generated structure over here which is the bike shop. So as you can see we are on a super flat world, there's slimes absolutely everywhere as well as pigs for some reason but anyway I needed to find a village because this is a brand new generated structure inside a village I'm not sure if this spawns every single time but I found this in the first village that I came across so I'm fairly sure it is and yeah it is a bike shop you can tell by this sign over here beautifully placed so let's go inside and see what's going down it looks really cool by the way very nice job on the building and here we are here are two of the bikes that are in this mod or the two bikes that are in this mod there is the Mac bike which is a nice blue color and then we have the acro bike which is kind of a more bmx -y style bike and is really cool as well and I really like the models on these a really good job is done on them they're quite detailed but still kind of keep in with the normal Minecraft kind of textures and stuff really cool really nice looking and then we've got this guy which is the bike shop salesman how you doing buddy why look at me I'm a customer I'm a customer. Okay, maybe not, but we'll talk to him in a second. And around here, there's also an amazing Pokeball carpet, and we've also got a little chest here, which has some goodies inside. So you can loot him, you can loot this place, and then just run away with his bike. So anyway, you can't actually take these bikes. They will break if you try and take them, and they're, they're kind of behind a cobblestone wall as well. But anyway, let's have a look at how we can either make or we can buy these bikes. There's two ways to get them. You can either buy them or buy the parts for them, or you can craft them. Now, the best way to do it is by crafting, because it's easily the cheapest way so let's have a look at how to do that and you're going to need a couple of different parts you are going to need first some spokes which um then lead on to making the bicycle wheel but to craft the spokes you just need five pieces of iron just like this and then you take those spokes and surround it in black wool and you will get a bicycle wheel which is really cool and then you move on to the bicycle frame which requires two four six pieces of iron and then move on to the seat which requires one leather one of any color wool and then a iron ingot to get the seat and then finally you can can't ride a bike with no handlebars so here we go these are the bicycle handlebars we need two pieces of leather and four iron to do that so then you take all of those pieces and put them in a pattern like this along with either a piece of lapis lazuli or a piece of orange dye to create your different bikes so to create a standard bike or the standard template for a bike you need handlebars on the top left a seat on the top middle and then two wheels either side and the frame in the middle as well as your piece of lapis lazuli to create the mac bike and then a piece of orange dye for the acro bike and that is how you craft them normally not too expensive they take a fair bit of iron i guess about 20 bits of iron maximum but then there's this guy then there is this guy right click this guy and he gives you some unique trades but they are an absolute ripoff he wants a stack of block of emeralds not just emeralds a stack of blocks of emerald for just a bicycle frame he also wants 24 blocks of emerald for a bicycle seat um 36 for spokes and that's not even the complete wheel he just wants 36 for spokes that is crazy so as you can see he is a complete ripoff so there you go you can also buy the screwdriver the wrench the hammer and the bicycle tools as well but we'll get to those later but still very very expensive so you can go two ways if you're very rich come to this guy but if you're not do craft them yourself so let's get straight on to how they look we've kind of already seen it already but here is the mac bike and as soon as you spawn it in above it it will kind of have similar to the damage indicators mod in the top left it will actually have my name so it's dan tdm's mac bike so i have your name if it's yours and then the green part is a health bar as well so if i punch it you can see that it goes down and my health on the mac bike should go down go down mac bike go down in the damage indicators mod. Okay, maybe not. They have 10 health altogether, so if you punch them 10 times or crash into 10 different things, they will crash. Now, without further ado, I will show you how to fix this little bit of damage in a second, but let's go ahead and jump on this bike. So a normal right click to go onto this bike, and then you use the W, A, S, and D keys to move. So W will just go forwards, and then you can use the mouse to look around. And this particular bike, the Mac bike, is the faster of the two. It can't jump, and um, it can't do wheelies and tricks and stuff, but it is a lot faster 
and then you can also um, use the mouse to look around and move but you can also use the um, A and D keys is it I don't know yeah A and D keys to be able to do sharp turns which look really cool I like how the bike moves let's just quickly go into F5 mode to show you how that works my feet are really on the pedals but you know that that's just a, a little thing we can sort out later on but there you go there is the sharp turn right and there is a sharp turn left you can also kind of do a little bit of a bunny hop but that's just to get up blocks quicker and yeah you can go up blocks and as you can see I can actually run things over so watch out piggies watch out piggies watch out piggies there we go oh my god I missed him how did I even miss oh my god that pig got destroyed how did how much did I kill you for uh, there we go. We can run over any kind of mob whatsoever to do damage to them. So yeah, you can actually go up one block at a time. So let's try this quickly. There we go. Beautiful. You will lose a little bit of momentum, which is a bit, um, it's a bit sucky. Oh, sorry. Oh my God. I absolutely flipped him into there. That is crazy. But you can use the space bar to kind of stop your momentum um, from going down if you time it correctly. So let's quickly go around to the front of the bike store again, and we'll try out the new bike. Actually, first, we're going to repair this bike. So let's get off our bike by using the shift key. And we need to repair it a little bit. So we're going to need some tools. And you can either choose the screwdriver, the wrench, the hammer, or the toolbox, which you've already seen. And you can either buy them off of him, the ripoff merchant over there, for lots of emeralds. Or you can simply craft them. So the screwdriver will require one stick and two iron ingots to craft this. Has a durability of 15 and will also repair two health on your bike. So if I right-click the screwdriver on this bike, there you go. It is fixed. Beautiful. And then we've got the wrench as well, which requires just three iron ingots and a stick. And that has a little bit of higher durability and also um, heals two pieces of health on your bike. You then have the hammer, which also heals two pieces of health and has 35 durability and requires one more piece of iron and the same stick as you've used in the previous recipes. And then you can go one step further and craft all of these things and then put them into a recipe together so that you can craft a toolbox. So take the screwdriver, the hammer and the wrench and you'll be able to create this bicycle toolbox which has a durability of 90 and will restore four health on your bike every time so that is pretty damn cool so now we have the acro bike to introduce you to which is a more bmx style bike so we're gonna go into this and then i'll show you how much slower it is so this is the top speed of the bike it's not too great but it is it's still quicker than walking you gotta admit and i just did just, destroyed that slime bam <laughs> really good for destroying slimes but what we can also do on this one is do a bunny hop so if you double tap space you'll do a nice bunny hop it's probably best from the front there look at that you can do it while moving as well so let's do that yeah and when you hold space oh yeah you can do a wheelie look at that that is beautiful that is amazing. <laughs> that is so cool. So we can do anything we want on this bike. Travel along distant lands. But now, I have, now I've shown you everything in the mod. We are going to go over to our brand new map and have some fun on this acro bike. I will see you there. Well then, guys. Welcome back. I am here with my acro bike. And I am ready to do some skate parking. Yeah, look at this. I'm in a beautiful skate park map with some basic ramps and stuff. And we're going to take some on. So let's get on our little acro bike here and jump off the end. Just going to show how you can go up and down stuff really easily so let's jump let's jump and let's do a wheelie all the way to the other ramp so yeah this is a really cool mod it's really well done and has potential for updates in the future as well and this mod is actually being commissioned by the atlantic craft for their pokemon mod pack which will be coming out very very soon which features like pixelmon and stuff like that so go and check them out in the description below too there will also be a link to the thread where you can download this mod so let's go around here and see if we can jump off and try and land on that other ramp i don't know if we're gonna be able to do it it's very hard it's very hard we need to get a right angle here we go yes yes i've done it yes that actually felt pro so that was pretty cool if we kind of get some better falling mechanics on this bike we could do some epic jumps like off the end of that actually actually let's go do it all right then here we are me and acro bike are at the top well my new acro bike anyway so we're at the top of here and we're going to try and do this let's go to try and finish off the episode let's do it let's do it let's do it let's jump off the edge yes oh i hurt my bike a little bit are you okay buddy you okay? Okay, you took a little bit of damage, but that's okay. That's not too much full damage. It's nice to know that they do take full damage, though, because that was a pretty extreme jump. But anyway, that is pretty much what this mod has to offer. And if you do like what you see and do want to play it for yourself, then please head to the description below where you'll find a link to download this mod. Also, if you happen to be new to the channel, then please do subscribe and join Team TDM for today for daily Minecraft videos. And if you did enjoy the video, a like would be greatly appreciated, too. You can also now catch me on my Twitter and my Facebook accounts in the description below, too, which would be awesome. So thanks again for watching guys and i will see you all next time goodbye